Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 4.4 points of intersection. 4.4 represents chapter 4, section 4 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key fact of this particular section. The solution, or you could say solutions, of the equation f of x equal g of x which can be rewritten as f of x minus g of x equal to zero represents the point or you could say points of intersection between the graph of y equal f of x and y equal g of x. Of course, you could add that this particular equation has no solution. In that case, there will be no point of intersection between the two graphs. That is the key fact of this particular section. I'm going to go through exam style questions where we have to use this key knowledge in order to determine the roots of an equation through a graphical representation. Here is exam style question 1. Part A, on the same axis, sketch the curves given by y equal x squared multiplied by x minus a in brackets and y equal b over x, where a and b are positive constants. Firstly, we know that a and b are greater than 0. Here is my coordinate grid. So I've got my y-axis, I've got my x-axis. Let's have a look at the equation y equal x squared multiplied by x minus a in brackets. Now if I expand this, I get x cubed minus ax squared. The coefficient of x cubed, in this case a, is equal to 1, which is greater than 0. So we have a positive cubic, hence the shape of the graph will look something like this. Now, if I substitute y equals 0, I can work out my x-intercepts. So my x-intercepts will be x equals 0 and x equal a. Notice that x is a repeated factor, so the cubic graph will bounce at x equals 0, but at x equals a, the cubic graph will cut. Now if I substitute x equals 0, I can get the y-intercept. So substituting x equals 0 will just give me y equals 0. So I've got 0 and I've got a. So my cubic graph will bounce at x equals 0, so it will look something like this. Bounce at x equals 0, but cut at x equals a. As follows. Okay, now to put the icing on the cake, I can label this cubic graph as y equal x squared multiplied by x minus a. Let's have a look at the graph of y equal b over x. The b is a positive constant, so this reciprocal graph will take the following shape. So I can sketch in that shape. I've got something like this. The asymptotes are x equals 0 and y equals 0. Now, to put the icing on the cake, I can label the reciprocal graph as y equals b over x. Now these two graphs will intersect at two points. Here is the first point and here is the second point. That there ladies and gents completes part A. Part B, using your sketch, state giving a reason the number of real solutions to the equation x to the power 4 minus ax cubed minus b equal to 0. Now over here we have a quartic equation. We notice that x to the power 4 minus ax cubed minus b equal to 0 is equivalent to the equation x squared multiplied by x minus a in brackets equal to b over x. Okay, so over here, if I multiply both sides by x and then take away b on both sides, I get precisely this particular equation after my complete rearrangement. So these two equations are equivalent. Now we notice that the number of real solutions to this particular equation depends on the points of intersection. 
So we have two points of intersection, hence there are two real solutions to this equation. And because there are two real solutions to this equation, this particular equation will also have two real solutions because the two equations are identical. x squared multiplied by x minus a in brackets equal to b over x has two points of intersection. So there are two real solutions. Hence, the equation x to the power 4 minus ax cubed minus b equal to 0 has two real solutions. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. Part A, on the same axes, sketch the curves given by y equal 1 over x and y equal minus x multiplied by x minus 1 in brackets squared. Okay, so here's my coordinate grid. Let's start off with the equation y equal minus x multiplied by x minus 1 in brackets squared. Okay, if we actually multiply this out, we get a negative cubic because the coefficient of x cubed will be negative. And since we've got a negative cubic, the shape of the graph will look something like this. Okay, now if I substitute y equals 0 and solve the equation, this will give me the x-intercepts. Substituting y equals 0 and solving the equation gives me x equal 0 and x equal 1. So I've got x equals 0 and x equal 1. Notice that x minus 1 is a repeated factor. So the cubic graph will bounce at x equal 1, but at x equal 0, it will cut. So my cubic graph looks something like this. Okay, so that there, ladies and gents, is my cubic graph. To put the icing on the cake, I can label the graph. Okay, so if I label it, I've got y equal minus x multiplied by x minus 1 in bracket squared. Okay, my next graph is y equal 1 over x. The numerator is a positive constant, hence over here, the reciprocal graph will take the following shape. So I can sketch that shape in. I've got something like this. So that there represents the graph y equal 1 over x. Alright, let's move on to part b. Explain how your sketch shows that there are no real solutions to the equation 1 plus x squared multiplied by x minus 1 in brackets squared equal to 0. My first observation is that 1 plus x squared multiplied by x minus 1 in bracket squared equal to 0 is equivalent to the equation minus x multiplied by x minus 1 in bracket squared equal to 1 over x. If I rearrange this equation, I can get it in this form. Hence, these two equations are equivalent. Right. Let's have a look at this equation. Minus x multiplied by x minus 1 in bracket squared equal to 1 over x has no real solutions. Because these two graphs do not intersect. Because there are no, as you can see over here, points of intersection. Hence, if there are no real solutions to this equation, there are no real solutions to this equation. These two equations are identical. Hence, there are no real solutions to the equation 1 plus x squared multiplied by x minus 1 in bracket squared equal to 0. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video. 
If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on the notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.